face. Happy Monday. Well, it's Monday right now. I don't know when this will go up. And you have to excuse all this. Just don't even look. Don't even look. Look at look at this instead. Look at this instead. Because it's the Butter Depot subscription box. And the reason I look like this is because I don't care. I don't. I just don't care. This is like literally nothing but my Bi Terry powder. Because I love my Bi Terry. Anyway. I got my Butter Depot box in today. This is November's box. And I was so excited. I'm like, I don't care what I look like. I do have lip gloss because you <laughs> Gotta have my lip gloss, right? But I was so excited. I've been waiting for this box for so freaking long, guys. So freaking long. Because USPS dropped the ball. They did. I've been waiting and waiting. And waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for so long that Butter Depot was so freaking amazing. Lydia and her team were amazing to begin with, but they were so amazing that I've been messaging them and messaging them and messaging them back and forth on this. And they actually refunded my money. And I told them, I'm like, no, you know, you guys don't have to do this because I'm going to shop like Butter Depot no matter what. Because if you've been here before, what's the, oh, scissors. I was like, what is that? Um, then you would know that I love Butter Depot. I've been buying Butter Depot for months now. And they have a bi-monthly subscription box. This box is $45. And to me, it's worth its weight in gold. Because I love Butter Depot. I love their Butter Depot. I mean, I love their butters. They have whip scrub, whipped soap scrubs. Uh, whipped, oh my gosh. Whipped, whipped soaps. Getting a little crazy here. Whipped soaps. They have sugar scrubs. They have dry oils. They have um, the, um, I'll show you what's in here because I can't think of what it's called, but you'll see. They have all kinds of good stuff. And their body butters, guys, are, everything's made in-house. And their body butters are the kind that doesn't leave the greasy residue after. Obviously, it's a body butter, so you got to let it soak in when you first use it. But it doesn't leave that, after it settles, it doesn't leave that gross you know, body butter that you get with a lot of store body butters that you get. And there's a lot of natural ones out there that do the same thing. But hers are just, I don't know how to explain it. I've tried a lot of brands, a lot of brands of lotions and butters and moisturizers. And there's a lot of different moisturizers that I love. There really are. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say this is the only brand I use because I'd be lying to you. But this brand of body butter is the only brand of butter that I have found that I freaking love. Saying that, I have canceled my subscription and the reason is twofold. Number one, like I've said before, in order for me to keep my channel here on YouTube, I've needed to kind of stop some of my subscriptions. And this is one that I chose to stop. And I am maybe going to be trying some other ones. I'm kind of getting rid of some other ones. And I'm going to fill it with Crate Joy now. And I want to try out some of their smaller boxes just to see what I can bring to you to show you what Crate Joy offers since I am an affiliate with them. And I make, I do make something off of there. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, I don't get anything from Crate Joy because some people will actually do that now, I'm telling you. But I do get a little bit of kickback and I want to be able to help support my channel. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I want to try to stay with my channel and for my husband to be able to help him because I don't work, you know, I don't. And for me to be able to stay on my channel, if I have to become affiliate with Crate Joy, I mean, I don't, I want to be able to become an affiliate with something I believe in and subscription boxes, you know, guys, I believe in my subscription boxes, but I need to find things I love. And even though I love my Butter Depot, I want to be able to buy the ones that I like scent wise. And I don't know what I'm getting in the boxes. And even though I love my, I'm, I'm kind of talking in circles, I know. I get lightweight when I get real excited. Even though I love my, my makeup subscription boxes and my skincare, things like that, I get those because I know there's things in there that I might not always like, but I can pass them on to you. But with my Butter Depot, I want to be able to buy the butters that I want to use because I know with them, I can buy um, that's something I'm always going to use. Does that make sense? With my makeup boxes, yes, I have a lot of makeup, but I collect brands. So there could be a brand in there that I collect that I want to keep. But if not, if there's like brow products that I obviously, I don't have brows, so obviously I can't keep those. So I can pass them on to you guys. Um, if there is 
um, like a mascara that I don't want to use or maybe too many eyeshadows. I know I can pass that on to you guys, but with Butter Depot, nine times out of 10, if I, if I'm, I'm probably going to keep it or pass it on, but with this company, I think I know what I'm trying to say. I'm getting, I'm getting as Car Carlos would say, I'm getting a little squirrely. What I'm trying to say is with Butter Depot, this company itself, I know that I'll purchase other items from their store. So if I don't keep this subscription box, I know that I'll constantly be keeping, I'll constantly be buying stuff because they have amazing sales. They have like, you know, you can buy one, you can get one free or buy two, get one free or whatever. And also guys, if you use code Jenny10, you can get 10% off. I don't get anything from that. I'm not an affiliate with them. I just get a link for you guys or a code for you guys to be able to save you 10%, but I don't get anything from them. But with like Crate Joy, I am an affiliate with Crate Joy. I do get either points. Um, I'll get like, sometimes they'll have a sale. Like if you get this subscription box, I get $5 from the subscription box. So that helps my channel. If you use Crate Joy, if you use the link provided below, if you just use Crate Joy link, I don't get anything. But if you use the link that I put below, then I do get something back. So in a roundabout saying that took me six freaking minutes to say it, I'm not keeping this subscription box because I want to be able to buy what I want to buy and not necessarily the things they put in here. For instance, let's open the box and I'll show you what I mean. So one of the things they put in here is the Apple Crisp set, the box, the, the Apple Crisp scent. And this is a six ounce jar. So when I buy Butter Depot, I buy their big jars. I buy the jars that are like, I think they're eight ounces and sometimes they have a larger jar. So for me, I would rather have the eight ounce jar that I pay for than getting a six ounce jar. And they put two in here this month. So we got the apricot or apricot, however you want to say it, and peach. And then um, they're both whipped butters and the six ounce. And they are safe for hair and body. So what I do is after I put it on my hands, whatever, or body, whatever's left on my hands, I put through my hair. And that's why my hair is so soft. And I don't know if you notice anything different with my hair. If you notice, please comment below because I'm not going to tell you. But like, I just got, I got to smell. I just, I just gotta smell them. And I'm not gonna lie, the Apple Crisp is not something that I would buy. So they just, this is not a scent I would buy. Not that it doesn't smell good, because it does. But I would use this more as a hand lotion, not like all over my body. So this is some, not something I would buy. So that is not something I would buy for myself. So that's another reason I would not keep this subscription box. But this one, the apricot and peach, I would buy. So this is what it looks like. And then you rub it on your hands. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by not being greasy. I hope you're keeping up with what I'm trying to tell you because I have talked in some circles there. Um, I'm just trying to tell you what I mean by the reason I'm not keeping this box, but the reason I'm keeping like my BoxyCharm because BoxyCharm, the things I get in there, it's cheaper for me to get that because I get 200 and some dollars worth of products in there for like 25 or $35 compared to this box here. Now I think that makes sense now. But anyway, you saw I rubbed that very tiny bit. See, what's, see how much I took out of there? And there's no grease. I put it on my hands, there's no grease. And then I can put it like in my hair. You know what I mean? And I can make my hair soft from that. And it's, it adds to sheen to my hair without being greasy. Now, obviously you don't want to dip in and put it in your hair because that'd be stupid. But you want to like rub it in your hands and then whatever you have left over, then you can run it through your hair and it puts a little bit of sh shine and sheen. If you have oily hair, I would not recommend to do that. My hair is normal. I don't have dry, I don't have oily, I have normal hair. So that's what you do. So anyway, so you get two body butters in your box. The next thing you get in your box is you get a candle and it's by um, Mangosteen and it's a soy candle. It's a 20 hour burn time and it's made in Georgia and they're scented and it's just a very, it doesn't tell you what scent it is and it's a regular wick candle, um, but they are soy, which I, I love that. And I'm thinking maybe papaya or maybe mango. I don't know um, what it is. But it, is, it does say mangosteen. Maybe it is mango. Mangosteen. But it doesn't say. It just says it is a soy can. It's a soy candle. But the fact that it says mangosteen, I don't know. But it doesn't say. But it does show you in the box. This is what the inside of the box looks like. Um, but it does show you on here what it is. Now, the last box didn't say that. And I said that it'd be nice to have that. Um, 
and there was a coat on here for December, but December came and went um, because of the, the good old fashioned USPS. A little slow getting it to us. The next thing that we have is a lip scrub. It's Car Caramel Macchiato. And it is a three ounce lip scrub. And it's nice size lip scrub, guys. Look at the size of this lip scrub. Now you know, what size do we usually get with lip scrubs? We usually get, you know, a small little thing like this. This is a big old size lip scrub. Big old size. Look at this. If that ain't a big old lip scrub, this is going to last for a long time and it's really soft, like really soft and it's a little oily. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there is like an oil. I don't think it's coming across on camera. So I'm probably going to have to take um, like a, like a, a toothpick and kind of mix it up at first before I use it because it's, it's settled. So it does have an oily base to it. So I would recommend if you have anything like this that you mix it um, and it's, there's not even any crunchiness on it. So it's got the oil base on top. Um, but it says, um, rinse with water off and pat dry. It has brown sugar, white sugar, coffee, arabica seed oil, vegetable oil, organic shea butter, mango butter, pumpkin seed oil, avocado oil, cocoa butter, vitamin E, and flavor oil. And it says keep away from direct sunlight. So probably during shipment, the different temperatures from Arizona here to West Virginia, it probably got a little warm. It's like 50 degrees here. I think, hey Google, what's the current temperature? The temperature in England right now is 40 degrees. 40, sorry. 50, 50 tomorrow. So you don't know what temperature between here and there that it, you know, it was. And the butter is organic shea butter, pumpkin seed butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, vitamin E, avocado, and fragrance. That's what's in the butters. So there's no weird stuff in your butters. The next thing that we have is a warm and cozy room and linen spray. And it's good size linen spray and it's all plastic. So you don't have to worry about any glass shattering and it's not coming in too good. There we go. Um, and let's see, you can spray, oh wow. You can use it as a pet deodorizer. So it's safe for your pets. You can spray it right onto their coat but not recommend it for use on humans. So you can't spray it on yourself. Um, you can spray into your linens and fabric and air freshener as long as it's in ventilated areas, large areas. You, know, you don't want to spray it like, you don't want to spray it in an area where it's in a very small enclosed area. I'm going to smell it. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. That smells so good. Okay, I have a towel right here that I use like when I put makeup on. I'm going to spray it on there. Oh my gosh, that smells so freaking good. Warm and cozy room and linen spray. It's got a very cinnamon type smell. I'm going to spray it back here. My husband's got his jacket laying right there. He'll come home and that jacket will smell like cinnamon. He's going to be like, what the hell? It goes smell like cinnamon. And the next thing I got, she told me she was sending these. Um, it's a headache relief aromatherapy inhaler. That's what they are. And um, the other one is Tranquility. And I have already smelled these and they do smell really good. The headache's got like a peppermint, I think is what it is. Um, eucalyptus. That's peppermint eucalyptus. And this is what it looks like right here. And these, I mean, obviously I have migraine. It's, it's not going to help with a migraine headache, but it does help. And it actually is like a little pick me up. I have one that I use. It's got peppermint. It's kind of getting empty because I, I made it myself with my own diffuser oil. Um, it's getting a little low. So this is like perfect timing. And the other one is tranquility. It has um, lavender and fresh lemon. And this is what it looks like. And it's very nice. I use that already. I used it this morning to see what, what it smelled like. And the last thing that we have, I'm real excited about, and you're wondering, okay, why is this in a Butter London box? I mean, Butter Depot, I always say that, and that's a freaking makeup brand. Um, and I'm not really sure why it's in here. I think it's just something special they put in the box um, because of the time of year that it, that it was before UPS, USPS, sorry, messed it up. And it's actually granola. It is um, blueberry flax granola, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO, and kosher. There is one serving per container, or 100, 166 servings per container. There's two-thirds cup, it says. 
166. I think it was 1.66. I don't think it's 166. Um, two thirds cup, 270 calories, 11% fat, no cholesterol, which I got to watch for because I have extremely high cholesterol, even though I'm on medication. And I do get that tested this Thursday, by the way. It's made with whole green oats, cane sugar, canola oil, inver invert cane sugar, brown rice, flax seeds, brown rice sugar, natural flavor, sea salt, freeze dried blueberries, vanilla extract, processed on equipment that also processes almonds, Brazil nuts, cashews, coconuts, hazelnut, hazelnuts, pecans, walnuts, and soy. And it's manufactured by, on, by Bakery on Main, East Hartford, Connecticut. So this is not made by them. It's just brought to, it's brought to you by them. And this is actually the whole label. If I can get it to come in for you guys. There it is. But I think it's supposed to say 1.66 and not 166. But it's really hard to read it on there. But this is what it looks like. I love granola. It's just fattening. So, I, you know. I kind of go through my anorexia stage where I'm like, oh my God, it's so freaking fattening. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better with that. I'm still, I had a moment right around Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it, it was kind of hard because even though I didn't eat the dinners because I didn't have anybody here and my husband and son went to my in-laws for those celebrations, I didn't have the dinners. So I did okay. I still had my moments. And I had my moments of weakness. And I'm kind of telling you that right now since I'm talking about food. Um, and I struggled. I did. So I'm struggling again a little bit. And I'm not not proud of that. Um, I have my moments, you know. I'm still struggling with the whole I cannot get above the 95. But I'm actually, the last few weeks, I'm kind of freaking out about getting above 94. So I've kind of taken a little step back. Um, I go to my doctor Thursday. So we'll see what she says and see where my weight is Thursday. I still do what I always do when I go. I take my shoes and everything off and take my coat off so we can get an exact weight. I don't try to fake it and try to make myself heavier. So I do that. That way she gets an exact weight on me. Um, so at least I'm still at that stage where I'm not trying to fake my weight to make me heavier than what I am. So that way I, I'm honest with her about that. So at least I do that. Anyway, um, what do we get? So we got two body butters. We got our lip scrub. We got our candle. We got our two aromatherapy inhalers. We got our spray and we got our granola so for $45. That's not bad. I think it's good. Like I said, I freaking love Butter Depot and everything they represent. It's a woman-owned business, a black-owned business, and you guys know I support both of those things. I always have and I always will. Um, and like I said, even though I canceled this box, I'm still going to buy the Butter Depot products. I emailed them this morning and I told them, you guys, I got the box. We went round and round on like where the hell this box was. And I know you guys gave my refund and I want you to take the money back. I want to pay you back for this because I got the box after all. So what do I do to give this money back to you? Because it's not your fault. And I don't think that I should take this money. Well, you know, I, I'm not taking no for an answer. I want you to take the money back. And they said, no, just place an order whenever you want to. You know, I want you to, to keep your money. And I feel so bad you know, because I still got the box, you know, and the last time I had an issue, it was because of USPS my box got lost and it ended up going to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which happens to me quite often. And the box got complete. They ended up sending me another box. The box got damaged. I had the big jars of lotion and it exploded in the box. I mean, it exploded. It was awful. I was going to actually use what I got and send it out to you guys as a giveaway. No, the box, the, the, the things were cracked. I had lotion on the box. It was a mess. It was horrible. But they actually sent me a, a, a replacement. So then when this happened, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, and I was thinking, crap, you know, this happened again and it's not their fault. So please take the money back. And they refused. I mean, they've been amazing guys. They are freaking amazing to people. I just, I love that company so much. I really, really do. But they wouldn't take the money back. I mean, that's how amazing they are. They would not take the money back. So I'm going to place another order. So literally when I'm done filming, I mean, first I will upload it to my computer so I can try to get, I've got tons of videos to, to try to get uploaded for you guys. But I'm not going to fret. New year, I'm not going to fret about it. But I'm going to go on and see what I can do about ordering some more stuff. I want to see what sale they have running because they, I haven't looked yet, but they always have sales. So go online, sign up for emails. Um, they also have text alerts you can sign up for and see what they have going because like I said, they usually have some really good sales going and you can read about the products. You can see what ingredients they put in them. 
just learn all about them. Check them on Instagram because they also tell you what sales they have on Instagram. And I try to keep up with it and post things too, but I am not blowing any smoke up, you guys. But like I said, I am not an affiliate with them. I don't get anything off of them. And if I ever do, I will let you know below. But do not forget to use code Jenny10 to save you guys 10% on your orders. And of course, if there's any major sales, that always takes precedence over the Jenny10. I don't know if they, I don't think you can stack. Because I think if you use a code with them, I don't think you can stack. I don't think you can. Now, on top of like their regular sales, I think you can. But if you have to use a code, you can only use one code at a time. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, thank you guys for being here and sharing my excitement. I mean, I come on looking like this. You know I gotta be excited about it, right? I am. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me in my in my YouTube endeavors here and for looking looking at me, looking like this, looking at you. Um, I've been wanting to do a skincare video. If you've seen my skincare video back months ago, I have changed that completely. So those products that I was using, it was all Tony Moly. I've changed my skincare completely, like completely. I'm using more Dr. Jart and more Sunday Riley. Um, and I'm going to hopefully be doing another one. It might not be like showing as I'm doing it, but I'm going to be showing you what products I use. So if you guys have seen that video, don't ignore it because they were like really good products and they worked for me, but I've been discovering other products and I've really been liking some of the other products I've been using. So, um, I'm probably going to be doing some Instagram pictures of the things I've been using and you might actually see that before you see this video. So just know that's the stuff I'm using now. Because people have been asking about skincare. Um, but my skin is doing so much better. I mean, literally, all I have on is, is powder. That's it. I didn't put anything else on. Um, even my vitiligo looks better. And that's because of a Sunday Raleigh product that you guys have asked about. It's the lactic acid one. It's called Good Genes. And the, the, the vitamin C. I mean, it's like, literally, all I have is that powder on. And it's just a white powder. I'm like so excited, guys. That's all I have on. I'm just, I have I have spot right there, but... I'm just really excited today. It's a Monday and I feel really good. And when I feel really good, I do videos. I didn't even fully put makeup on today. I just feel good. I feel good. And you guys, when I feel good, I like to tell you guys I feel good. And when I feel like crap, I tell you guys that too. Guys, go out there and enjoy your day. Be blessed. Be, be good. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Stay safe, guys. Come back and see me again. I love you all so much. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye, guys.